What's up guys, I'm in my home in Bulgaria now and I haven't been posting videos for a while, especially art videos, so I made this super cool video about calligraphy and why about calligraphy, because I just, hey, I've never tried calligraphy before and I bought myself two nibs, um, they're dirty right now because I was just painting, but they're pretty awesome. Well anyway, these are my two nibs, the holder and also I got myself two inks, which is just basic uh, white and black inks. And I just did this awesome drawing for you. This little artwork that I would like to share with you in this video. And it says, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars, which I think is kind of inspiring, motivational. And uh, it's just like a um, little nice reminder that if something is going bad in your life, uh, maybe it's a source for something good to happen or a source for inspiration for you to start something new and um, charge with full emotions and power to produce something good for this world. I've been just lying in my bed, I'm in my bed right now, reading a book and then I thought, why don't I just do some calligraphy for a little bit? So here it is, please keep watching this video to see how I made this beautiful stuff. To start off, I'm getting all the colors out that I'm gonna use for this drone, which are dark purple, dark blue, also light blue, dark green and light green. These are the color palette and also maybe black that I was gonna use for my drawing. I totally recommend you to use a lot of water for this painting and I would recommend you to start off by watering the entire paper, but I actually started with applying some purple color and it didn't work that well, so I decided to use a little bit of watercolor because before that I was using gouache, but after I started to use watercolors, everything went pretty well. And I used a lot of water, as I said earlier, and started to apply the color on the paper. In order to make space effect, I use multiple colors, all at the same kind of tone, which are dark colors, and I just spread them around very randomly, but also connected them so they won't look very uh, standing out, but they were like smooth and all looked pretty nice and combined together. There are some highlights and some contours uh, of dark blue and light blue and also a little bit of green and a little bit of purple and then I just applied a lot of water in order to make the transaction more smooth and so that would look more like a space. You might wonder why did I get the toothbrush out but add actually to make the stars effect. So I just put some water on the toothbrush and also uh, applied white color on it, which is a white gouache. I don't recommend you to use uh, watercolors for that because they won't be as thick as the gouache or uh, acrylic. And after I applied the color properly on the toothbrush, I used my finger to do the star effect. And I just spread some stars on this beautiful space sky. I also thought that would be a good idea to have bigger stars in my space, sky, whatever it is. And I used a really thin brush and the same white color in order to apply bigger size stars. And I think that looks pretty cool. After the paper with the paint on it dry out, I decided to take my pen holder out and also all my nibs in order to do the calligraphy. In this little thing I hold my nibs and they're pretty awesome, I just started to do calligraphy and let me just show you how they look like. I have these two awesome nibs, one is for a really smooth um, style which I'm gonna use today and another one for gothic, but today we're gonna use this one, it's really soft and smooth and I just put that in to the pen holder and look how sharp that is, I think it's sexy. Calligraphy is really interesting for me right now and it's one of my favorite things forever. I also use this white ink for my calligraphy style and then I just start to write the quote. And the quote says, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. And I personally really like this quote, I think it's amazing, it's very inspirational and reminds me of something good and positive in this world. Just see how I use my nib, how I press on it in order to make thicker or thinner line. If I want to make the line thicker, I just press harder so my nib kind of separates and more inks comes out, out of it.
I never tried to write with this font before, but I think it's pretty cool. The only thing I regret about is that the paper size is too small, so the text doesn't really look readable, but still, I think it's kind of cool and I like this kind of messed up handwriting style, which is not my handwriting, but I like it still. Honestly, I just discovered calligraphy for myself a couple weeks ago uh, when I was in Moscow I bought some nibs and also ink and I just sat in coffee shops for hours and drew some pictures that I thought are cool and I usually copy from Instagram if I find something cool and inspirational but sometimes I also write the quotes from the book I read or if something interesting comes up on my mind I think it really calms me down and this is not speed up version so this is actually my real normal speed of the calligraphy that I usually do and after I drew this quote on the paper I uh, circled it one more time with the second layer of the uh, color so the color will stand out more and will be brighter. Well, that's about it. This is our final result and I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and also leave the comment down below what you think about my calligraphy quote drawing. And if you would like to see more of those, please also comment about it. And do you guys want to see a lesson how to do calligraphy, like one-on-one, -on -one? I don't know, just like basic stuff, uh, whatever, I'll talk about my nibs and talk about the holder and maybe about my inks and the paper that I use for calligraphy. If you guys want to know about all of this, just let me know, leave the comment down below and subscribe my channel if you haven't yet for more uh, art tutorials or just my regular videos and I can't wait to post more for you. Thank you so much for watching and hit the subscribe button, you can do that, I know, I know, I believe in you. Anyway, <laughs> have a good rest of your day, love you!